In this episode of October CMS Tips, I'm just going to show you a quick little plugin called List Switch, uh, which will expose a Boolean field and put it in the list of uh, your items. And then from the list, you can just turn that Boolean field on or off. Uh, in this example, it's showing the published field, which I'm going to also be doing in this episode because I'm actually going to install this plugin on my site, which is of course also run on October CMS. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my backend, uh, go to install plugin, plugins and search for list switch. Okay. And then we just install it. Okay, so now the plugin has been installed. Now I just want to show you uh, what would I have to do to get the same kind of functionality that I would get uh, from this plugin. So I would first of all go to videos and now as you can see the controllers is the last video I would have to click on it and then go to meta and then click this to turn off that video. Save it and then if I refresh the page, uh, as you can see, I have no more controllers video right here. Okay, so let's, since we installed that plugin and we don't want to go through this process uh, every time, uh, you can just, as you can see now the video appears, uh, you can just install this plugin and then you would go to that model that you uh, want to set up that list for and uh, for my list, uh, the name of the column that I'm using is called published. So if I go right here, uh, go to the builder and go to the video videos as you can see this is the table for my video I have this published column so you have to call this column the same name so this would be published published and then you would add a label so the label would be published and then uh, you would read the documentation of the plugin and in the documentation it says uh, that the type of your plugin should be in this list switch, right? Just paste that in here and then I just want to paste this in here also, right? So the icon is true. I just want to have that check mark and cross uh, when I publish or unpublish my items. Uh, we just save this and now if I go right here uh, to the videos, as you can see, I already have this published and those check marks. So all of my videos are currently published. And now if I don't, I, if I want to unpublish the controllers video, as you can see, it's uh, visible right here. Uh, I just click this and that's about it. Right, so no more controllers video. Uh, if I click it again, I turn on the controllers video. So a nice little plugin that does just one little thing, but uh, it does it very, very well. Okay, so this is it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. Also, probably the shortest video on my uh, channel, so yay. And uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.